lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have part two of my January 2023 wet set series where I'm going to be showing you how to brush out your hair today. There are many different styles you can create with a brush out but I'm just going to be showcasing my everyday sort of look. So it's typically what I wear on the first day of my set so typically day by day I wear my hair slightly differently and style it in different ways. For today's tutorial, you'll need a paddle hairbrush. I'm going to be using these two today, both of which are from Kmart. Two alligator clips, a smoothing bristle brush, and also a comb for teasing. A hairnet, hairspray. I just use this one here from Coles. And optionally, you can also have a pomade. I have this one here from Poison Apple Australia. When doing a wet set, you can either do that before you go to bed or when you wake up in the morning and style your hair later in the day. As I mentioned in my previous video, you're going to want to wait about four to six hours before taking out your hair or if you have an overhead dryer or one of those bag dryers that can help it dry a little bit quicker. But you want to make sure if you take out a curler that you've traced that through and it feels completely dry. If it is still wet and you brush it, it will just brush out that curl. So be sure your hair is completely dry before going on to the brushing out part. To start the styling process, I'm going to take off whatever I'm using to protect my curls. I'll take my pin curl out that I have my victory roll ready in and I'm just going to roll this and pin it out of the way because we're always working from back to front. And I'm going to start by taking out my rollers. It's very important, especially if you have hair that's easily damaged, don't just tug the curler out as this is typically where people find damage in the hair. So you just want to gently roll that out and then that's all ready to go. I take out my curlers from bottom to top so I'm not working on top of bits that are already out. With all of my curlers out, I just want to have a feel of the hair and make sure that there's not any curlers remaining in there as once we start brushing, it can really hurt if you grab into the hair with the brush and pull down and this curler's still in place. The next mistake many people make in their brush out is grabbing the brush, putting it in the hair and just pulling straight down, which is really going to hurt and likely damage the hair as well. We're going to start by working in sections and then working from the bottom up. So I have a side section here, a side section here, and the back section going down here. I'm going to grab a side and pull that all together, combining those curls lightly with my hands just so they're all down in one direction. Grabbing my hairbrush, I'm going to start from the very bottom, lightly brushing through and working my way up just as we did when we were brushing out our hair preparing for that wet set. As you can see, that has already combined those curls really well together. This is just an early brush out to begin with to combine this all together. So we're going to work a lot more on this. You can see it's really got the knots out and ready to style very soon. We're going to move on to the other side section now, grabbing the hair, combining together with our hands, brushing from the bottom up. Moving on to the back section. We'll then just brush all the hair sections together. Now in a lot of vintage hairstyling tutorials, they say just keep brushing, just keep brushing and eventually your hair will form the style that you want. Now this may work for certain looks, but it's definitely not going to work for everything, especially if you brush your hair and the more you brush it, the frizzier and frizzier it's getting. We want to thoroughly combine the hair, but the next step is working on dressing that style up. So actually creating our final look. I'm now going to be using more my smaller paddle brushes. I find this creates that more intricate styling that I like to achieve. I'm going to divide my hair down the middle going back. So I'm going to go all the way down creating a part going down here. So we've got two big sections now we can focus on working on. I'm going to grab this hair and I'm now going to brush that together and I'm going to be using the palm of my hand. So I've got my thumb kind of threaded through here and I'm going to be shaping the curl around this as I go. So I've done this to one side, I'm going to do it to this side too, and I'm going to do that a few times through. I 
can also take my hands through, really hook that hair under with my finger so I'm manipulating that curl to get it to sit in the desired style I'm looking for. Repeating that again. I'll then take my hairspray and apply just a little bit just onto this section here. Taking my bristle brush, I'm going to smooth this across. Repeating on the opposite side. I'm then going to brush through this section again. And this time I'm going to take my hairspray while I hold this in place and run that through with my fingers. Taking my bristle brush and just lightly brushing along the top, I'm just going to work on combining that a little bit more and then I'm going to repeat on the opposite side. Next, I want to combine these two sections together a little bit more. So I'm going to gradually work the hair from the back and combine that at the back. As I'm brushing through, I'm going from a midpoint and brushing not down to the end. So it's kind of just going through those midpoints and combining that. Now the back of your head can be very difficult to see. So what I like to do after brushing a little bit is I take a secondary mirror and I place that behind my head and I use that to check what the hair is looking like. Today I want my style to have a bit of a crease with it so I'm going to take my teasing comb and I'm going to brush down to where I want that crease to sit. Next I'm going to put my hairnet on and I'm going to start a little bit more after that. So I've got my hairnet and I've got the seams on either hand. I'm going to anchor that from the top of the head, pulling it down, scooping over and capturing one side of the hair and pulling across to get the other side. I'm going to take my comb and just make sure any flyaways are being caught and are brought across. And I'm trying to hide the seams of the hairnet behind my ear and you can always pin those in place if they're moving a little bit. I'm going to take my alligator clips next and I'm going to secure those across where I want that crease to sit nicely in the hair. Adding some hairspray. And while these clips set, I'm going to style the victory roll at the front. Taking my teasing comb, I'm going to brush this up on a high angle using my C motion of pressing down to the scalp and concentrating on getting the volume through here. I'm going to tease in all directions of this hair. Taking my bristle brush, I'm going to smooth this over. So I don't want to use my hairbrush because that's just going to brush out the teasing completely. And I really want it smooth across the top and also the bottom where the hair will be visible. Taking a bit of hairspray, I'm going to apply that and smooth a little bit more. Taking two fingers, I'm going to wrap the hair around this section and I'm going to begin to roll that in. I like to lift a little bit through here with another two fingers, wrapping that in until it's sitting where I would like to position it. I can spread the hair out a little bit more to make that a little bit more of a barrel curl. Catching stray hairs with my dividing comb. When I'm happy with the position, I'm going to take a long bobby pin, opening that with my hand and not, not my teeth because I can damage my teeth with a bobby pin. I'm going to catch the edge of the curl and press that against the scalp. I repeat that with another bobby pin. And then with a small bobby pin, I'm going to go through the middle of the roll and secure that too. Finishing with a bit of hairspray. I'm going to just smooth that with the palms of my hands or catching any flyaway hairs with my dividing comb. Taking out those alligator clips and topping off the look with a headband because I have some other filming I'm going to be doing today. But you could easily put a hair flower here, a vintage hat along the back, whatever you want to do. And that is our style complete. As I mentioned before, there are so many ways you can brush out your wet set to create different looks 
even using that exact pattern that I've taught in my previous video. I'll definitely be sharing more hair tutorials coming into 2023. Reasons I love this hairstyle is it takes me about 10 minutes to do in the morning, so it's just that easy brush out and a victory roll along with whatever style I want to include with that. It's also a really hardy hairstyle, so the hairnet protects the back hair, the victory roll keeps any hair out of my face, so whether it's windy, really sunny, or if even it's rainy, I can easily wrap something around my hair and protect all the back. Typically a good wet set, I can get two to five days out of this. Now, if it was raining and windy or really humid and I wore my hair without that hairnet every day, it'd probably be about two days that I get, but utilizing the hairnet definitely helps it last a lot longer. I truly hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it a little bit useful. If you have, be sure to give it a like and a comment as that really helps me out. And if there's any other videos you'd like to see about vintage styling or anything else, do let me know in the comments below too. If you'd like early access, exclusive content, and so much more I do have my glamour community on patreon I'd like to thank all my patrons but especially my VIP glamour patrons and my burlesque glamour students the support you give me truly helps me in creating more here on YouTube to follow my daily pinup adventures and for more vintage hair inspiration I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video and to never miss out on my vintage fun be sure to click the subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you all real soon Bye.